Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my gaming review of the iPhone SE. This is a video you guys have been waiting for and yes, it's finally here. Now, by the way, I am giving away three iPhone SEs here on the channel. So enter into the giveaway using the Gleam IO link in the description and then you can win one of these devices. So the iPhone SE is finally here, comes in three different colors, a black, white, and a red. And of course, red is my favorite color. That's the one I gravitate to. It looks really, really nice. But also this device is really, really small. For me, it's really tiny. I can kind of hold it like this, as you can clearly see right here in front of me. Uh, it's a small device. It comes uh, with a 4.7 inch. Uh, Retina HD display. Uh, the processor is an A13 Bionic, so it packs in a lot of performance that we know from the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is great, right? Uh, and uh, we are hearing that the battery might be under 2000 milliamps. I'm thinking about 1800. All in all though, this packs in at least the kind of performance we should expect that should run well for gaming. So we're gonna check out some games and we're gonna check out three games, PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, and Fortnite to see how well it performs. We check out, of course, temperatures to see what kind of temperatures we get while we're gaming and how long that period is. And also we'll see what battery life is during gameplay sessions. I'm playing for about an hour, hour and a half or so. So we'll see how that all comes together with this device. Now, without wasting any more time, let's check out some gaming.
So performance on this device is as to be expected. The A13 Bionic chipset that is found on the iPhone 11 Pro Max works tremendously well on this device. Games run smooth and we can play games like PUBG Mobile and uh, Fortnite at its max settings uh, without any frame drops. And also Fortnite, we can run that at 60 frames per second because of course this display is supports 60 frames. So it runs really, really well altogether. Now, the part that I didn't like so much are temperatures. I mean, this thing got up to 100 degrees while playing PUBG Mobile. Uh, Fortnite was about 97, but 100 degrees is just way too hot for a device this small. And also while I'm actually gaming. And this was within the first 15 minutes of playing the game. I wasn't doing anything else other than playing the game. So to me, that is a big no. So with temps that high, this is why I like to use cases on my phone. And I'm a big fan of Spigen. They also a sponsor of this video. And their cases that they have for the ISC are actually pretty cool. The new, the new Neo Hybrid case uh, comes with the red bumpers all around and it's part of the red collection. It is nice. It matches, of course, my red iPhone. And also the textured back allows me to grip and hold this iPhone pretty well because it's a really small device and I've got larger hands. Now, if you want to see your colors uh, of your device quite clearly, then the ultra hybrid fits you well. Plus it's got the nice bumpers. And if you want more protection, the slim armor is the one to go with. Plus you can put in your credit cards there if you need to use them. So I think they've got a lot of cool cases that will work well for this device, especially if you're gonna be gaming for a while, you're definitely gonna need it here. Now, speaking of gaming for a while, what about battery life within the time period I mentioned? We said about an hour of gameplay and within the very first 20 minutes, I lost 20% of my battery life. That is pretty much what it did. So I went from 50%, I went down to 30. And uh, by the time I was done gaming, I was about down to 10% within that hour. So that's something that is not really good. I switched between two iPhones. The second iPhone was at 80%. By the time I finished playing a game for 15 minutes, I had lost an equivalent of 15% also. So it's almost like a percent per minute um, I'm losing. It's not an actual number, but that's just really the rate it is. And this goes to speak to the fact that this has a smaller battery. You don't have confirmation yet what that battery size is, but I'm thinking about 1800 milliamps and it's gonna show. So if you're gonna be gaming with this device, I'm just letting you guys know that it is going to drain really quickly. It does support fast charging, but you have to buy that charger separately. So that's something to take note. Now, there are a lot of benefits to actually gaming on this device, especially with the fact that you've got the A13 Bionic processor and it performs really well and it's really smooth. Um, and also this device supports Wi-Fi 6 as well, so you can get faster connections while you're gaming and of course if you're going to do that definitely pick up a Wi-Fi 6 router especially as you're picking up more devices that have Wi-Fi 6 kind of like the Asus Zen Wi-Fi 6 router here uh, it's got that Qualcomm chipset which you know powers most Wi-Fi 6 devices but anyway um, that is something to definitely check out and use with a device like this I think overall you're going to find that the iPhone SE in terms of gaming does the job but there are big caveats to it. Battery life and heat are gonna be big things you're gonna, be, you're gonna actually have to pay attention to. But if you don't mind, then this will do all your gaming for you quite well. Now, if you guys have any questions, or any comments, let me know. If you wanna pick up any of the speaking cases, use the links down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, enter into the contest. Again, I've given away three iPhone SEs here on the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.